And welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. First thing I want to show you folks, we actually did have Shadowmere earlier. But now we also have a mount for Ayla. And I can't get past. Now you can see this has actually got armour on it. This horse usually is the, I think it's the white run horse. Um, but I've got the actual armour mod for the, for the horses, which I think is pretty cool. Same with Shadow Mir. Pretty darn cool, I think you'll agree. The other thing to point out is that I have now actually mastered enchanting, and I have also got block up quite a lot. We actually finally got together the items required for this beautiful blade. So to show you very quickly um, the kind of stats that it's got on it. Now if you look at that, Absorb 20 points of health, target takes 25 points of shock damage, and da 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 da. Pretty darn good. Now, the good thing about the Dragonbone Sword is that I managed to get it enchanted with two different abilities. And the way to do that is to get Corpus Enchanter in the enchanting tree. So that means all my items now have been remade and improved with extra, with two enchants on, basically. I also managed to get that, I actually used that blacksmith blacksmithing potion even um, so that I can actually get a better upgrade because usually I think the damage because I've already maxed out smithing ages ago I think the damage would have been about 180 but because I had a blacksmithing potion I managed to get it up to 205 armor wise just don't even start I mean let's look at some of these We have got a hell of a lot of health regeneration, um, stamina regeneration. We've spent a lot of time. Now that dagger alone, fire resistance 38, frost resistance 38, brilliant. We are pretty damn powerful. Now Ayla, How's it going? I've upgraded her items as well, Take a look. but not as much as, my, as the other ones basically. She can have those. Still have something you need? Right then, folks. Well, we are pretty much ready to actually continue with one of the main actual storylines now. And we're very close to where we've got to go to. We've actually got to go back to the to the Yarl. We haven't done that bit yet. Good, she's still with us. Okay, dude. What you got for me? Good. You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. Who are you talking to? You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. Does he? So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? It was indeed. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Turns out I may be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. Greybeards really were summoning you. Who are the Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself 
was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Really? Let me prove it to you. Do you believe me now? Nord nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenucci. I meant no disrespect, of course. Oh, of course not. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you if know you that? really are Dragonborn, High Hrothgar is a very Go to High Hrothgar and talk to the Greybeards. Disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Right then, folks. We're off to see the Greybeards. The Axe of Whiterun. It's quite a good one, but I assume that's a two-hander. I don't even want that. To be honest, folks, I mean, we've got our, basically, our items for the rest of the game. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Hello, Lydia. Now, Lydia is a another follower we can have. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. See you, Lydia. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Hmm. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Farewell. We don't need you just le yet, Lydia, so you can stay here. We've got our follower, thank you very much. Lydia is quite easily, though, my second favourite. Now, thankfully, from a previous quest, we've actually got the start of where we have to go to begin the trek up to the top of the mountain. Now, it was a little village on the... Never each, where did we... Southeastern side of the mountain... From Ivarstead, we can actually start climbing up. And trust me, it is a long, long way up the whole mountain. Any time today. Our horses are still with us. Good. What's the time? Okay, so we're starting our ascent. What the hell? That cyclops a bit too close for comfort. Don't think we're letting you get close to this town. Oh, I get up there, do I? No way, Mr. Cyclops. Don't you be running away. I'm coming for you now. Ah, I don't need to hide from him. 
few hits from this sword ought to finish him. Stop attacking all the goats, dude. Boosh! Boom. Boosh! Get off the mountain. It's more like it. How many steps are here? I nearly said 7,000, but... I wonder if there actually is 7,000. Oh, frost troll. I mean, because this sword actually absorbs health, it's pretty darn awesome for that reason. Don't know why I've got the, uh, Hey, Mr. Bartender, give me a drink. I want a cold, fresh glass. Do, do, do. Another frost troll. Oh, good shot there. Good shot there, Ayla. So it looks like we're approaching the summit here. Uh, how did you get there? That was quite skillful, Ayla. Oh god, look at that for a view, folks. We've got to look at that in the daytime. Or maybe early morning, that should look quite beautiful. Look at that, folks. Fantastic views. I dare you, Ayla. Jump down it. Boost! No, I don't. Oh. Another frost troll. Get on down here. Let's fight! Go on, Ayla. Finish him. Good shot. Again, just look at these views. Just look at that, folks. Got to get a picture of that. God, that is beautiful, honestly.
just... Be Sorry, I keep going on about the views, but honestly, that looks fantastic. Must have done close to 7,000 stairs now. Potentially. There's a village down there. Fact, is that actually. Oh, it's Riverwood. I think. Yeah, I think there must be Riverwood down there. That is one hell of a long way down. I was kind of slipping down the mountain there for a moment, which was kind of unnerving. Ah, looks like we've reached our target, though. This must be High Hrothgar. Home of the Greybeards. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh. A dining room. Who is this dude? So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. I wonder if I could just demonstrate my fire breath. Poof! Oh, never mind. I have to do that one. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Thank you. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Mainly to learn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. So I'm eating chocolate, folks, as well as plain. Well, we are here to guide you in that. You are not whether you... You are the only one that has been... We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Well, 
Looks like ready to ta start learning. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Oh, I see. Learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Ah, thanks a lot, Master Einarth. Appreciated. Now, let us see how quickly you can master your new form. What? Bro! force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Oh, okay. Go on then. What? Bro! Uh, did I just do that wrong? Use both words if you can. Ah, oh, this could be the one where I have to actually hold. See if I'm right. That's it. Well done. Again. Boom! You learn quickly. Once more. Just chill out, Ayla. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon Ball. That's what she said. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Who's ma- Ah, you. As you can see, the Greybeards are quite a friendly bunch, really. Teaching us what they can. I do appreciate that. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Yeah, yeah, I'm learning it. Approach Master Bori and he will gift you his knowledge of wood. 
Thanks a lot there, Bory. Always appreciated. Now we will see how quickly you can master a new shunt. Uh, master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Go on then, Wolfgar. Master Bory. Rex. Wolf. Whoa. Your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Well, this sounds like it's going to be a fun one. But how do we use it? Did I actually. Oh, I didn't even have it selected, did I? Idiot. Now I can do it, I bet. Is this your be best effort? I just did it. Your quick mastery of a new thum is... Uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself... You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on poning your voice. And soon your path will be made clear. Well, I certainly hope so. Thank you, Master. I will continue my training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. You know, I do actually. Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood. And you learn it almost without effort. It is pretty cool, I have to admit. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Yes, yeah, so there's one more. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Mm -hmm. Sounds interesting, folks. And focus. Sounds very interesting indeed. Alright, we've got another quest to do, though. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. So I imagine this is going to be quite like some of the levels on Jedi Outcast or Jedi Academy, when we've basically got to use some of our powers. Oh, fudge. Damn, I forgot about him. Fudge. Get on your horse and run. Don't. I'm going the wrong blooming way there. We ain't fighting you, laddo. Still with us. There 
you dirty bandits. Don't you shoot my horse. Don't screw with me. I don't know where Ayla's gone, but never mind. Let's go get this horn. <laughs> 